Earlier this week on the Light Rumors blog, I posted several images and asked the readers which of these images is shot with the L16, which was shot with an iPhone 5S, and which was shot with a Nikon D3100. Here are the three images, image C, image B, and image A. I don't know why I put them in reverse order, just to confuse you and make you answer the survey differently. I'm Planet Mitch from lightrumors.co, and I'm going to tell you what the results of the survey were. Before I get into the survey results, I think it's important to let you know which of these images was which. Image A was the iPhone 5S. I tried to find images that matched the image from the L16 as closely as possible with time of day. Uh, I obviously don't know what time of year they were shot. And I had a hard time finding an, an iPhone or a smartphone shot that was close enough. This was close, uh, but it was distinctly different than the other two because of the time of day. Image B, guess what? This was the L16 image. If you happen to have been paying attention when they released the results, it was, it was kind of obvious because of these blue boats down here at the bottom. Image C was the DSLR image from the Nikon D3100. So flipping back and forth between the L16 and the Nikon, uh, I, I confess that I tweaked some of the color on the Nikon one because it was kind of bright. I didn't want it to stand out a whole lot more. Uh, I did not change the sharpness or anything else, but I tried to get the colors to closely match. So I cheated a little bit. Uh, and yes, for those of you who commented and slammed me, and the internet can be very vicious, I'm sorry. I knew this wasn't going to be a fair test. Everybody knew it wasn't going to be a fair test because nobody is currently handing, holding on to an L16 and a DSLR that is able, through whatever NDA process that Light has them under, I can't, I can't do a direct comparison. If I could go there myself with my two cameras, my three cameras, and take the photos so they would be exact, obviously I would do that. But I did what I thought was best and, and grabbed a, an image that was as close as I could possibly get. They weren't the same size, they were not the same time of day, blah, blah, blah. So looking at the results, you got to remember that people could not look at the answers and then answer the final question. And maybe I should have done things differently. That's a learning thing going forwards. But what I maybe should have done was shown them the three images, let them tell me which one was the L16, tell them whether they were right or wrong, and then ask the question, well, do you think that the L16 is as good? Looking at the results, we have 334 responses. Image B, again, was the L16. And surprisingly, I thought this was going to be fairly even. I really didn't think people were going to say that Image B was the L16. Why they chose that, I don't know. So right off the bat, I know this is unscientific again. Did maybe many of the people know because they had seen the L16 gallery that they could then tell... Oh, 335 <laughs> responses. It just switched. Uh, could they, did they have a premonition? Did they, it wasn't a blind test, obviously. I didn't have 335 people that had never seen the images before, which would be a truly blind scientific test. Uh, so this is skewed. I understand that. But it's an interesting result, I think, nonetheless. Uh, scrolling down to the, which was shot with the Nikon, uh, image C which was the Nikon image, also <laughs> seems to be winning. People seem to know which one is which, right? Very interesting. And also, we're not having total same number of responses, which is okay. Uh, which one was the iPhone? 327 responses. 
most people got this one right. So 43% said that the iPhone 5S shot was image A, which was indeed correct. The biggest question, which I threw in after, I don't know, 50 people had already responded uh, because Google Forms will let you add a question later. 287 responses. Does the light L16 look similar to DSLR? The biggest takeaway from this, in my view, is that 18.8%, and it fluctuated between 16 and 19% throughout the responses. Uh, the vast majority of people either said maybe or yes. 36.6% said yes. 41%, 42% said maybe. If you glump all those together, then that's a high probability that the L16 looks similar to an DSLR image. Only 18.8% of the people said flat out no. Now there's a small smattering of people that gave different responses. Uh, yes, I thought it was hard to tell if photos were taken at the same time of day. Well, yes, I said that. <laughs> One said it, the L16 was better. One said HDR-ish. One said as long as they're limited to one-third their original size. One said, yes, I think so, though some question about the color gamut. Hard to say without knowing which one may have been the Nikon. I agree. Uh, its detail smudging is nearly worse than the freaking iPhone. Although how they got that from those images, I don't know. A little bit similar, the colors are better in B. B, again, was the L16. Better, second vote for better. And then we had 105 votes for yes, 120 for maybe, and 54 for no. Again, totally unscientific. In summary, pixel peepers are going to say possibly no, and that's okay. My point through most of my reviews of L16 images has been, is it good enough? Are people going to complain that it looks like a cell phone image? And I think this answer at least tells us that potentially, and it could, again, the, the number of no's could be higher because there's a whole big hunk of maybes. Uh, but I think unless you're really pixel peeping, so far, it looks to me like the DSLR and the L16 are similar enough that the vast majority of people are going to say that light has done what they said they were going to do. Whether or not a professional could take a DSLR and recycle it, give it to somebody, and totally live their lives with an L16, that's very yet to be seen. Is a wedding photographer going to take an L16, which looks much like a smartphone, to a wedding? And I doubt it. I think in a one-on-one -on -one portrait situation, maybe a professional photographer could get away with it if they showed the results. Could a landscape photographer get away with using an L16 and have nobody know? Sure. Especially if there's nobody around watching. Will a person selling real estate use an L16 to be able to take photos that are better than their smartphone without having to drag around a really crazy DSLR setup? Possibly. Again, it's all yet to be seen. Can't wait to see where this goes. Thanks for tuning in. Again, over at lightrumors.co, if you join and become a member, which is free, we will send you our latest ebook, the top 10 reasons why I think the light L16 is going to change photography forever. And some people disagree with me, but that's okay. So come on over to lightrumors.co and join our community and learn more about the light L16, computational photography, computational imaging, other cameras. We're going to cover those as well. Come over and join us and let us help you see the light.